Wait, we're just talking about, uh, we're just going to say on the start of the night. Oh, okay. So what are we doing? So long? Um, there's going to be about, like, 10 seconds left. So, just kind of say it for you guys. See if nobody replies. See you tomorrow. I can't wait. So it's $40 a ticket. If you know anybody, Tony, Tony still has a moment. Total uh, 110. Thank you, Tony. So tickets are available.
entire group of eight with Nothing. no certificate? Anybody. And SNL, anybody could come out. And it's open to, you know, they're targeting the El Sereno community, but there is absolutely no restrictions. None. And no other park has our problem. Our park is... I mean, they're just amazed at our numbers. No other park, no other park has this problem. I mean, they're having problems getting kids to, to come in. We're having problems, you know, limiting our numbers. Yeah, limiting our numbers. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. Well, they did. Last year, they, they bumped it. So, the first year, we had four teams all across the board. Last year, we manipulated the... Um, the budget, we used some of our, like, they gave us staffing hours to just make sure everything's running. We used some of our staff to officiate. So we, we played with it as much as possible to increase the number of teams and participation. We, like, begged for uniforms. They gave us uniforms. Uh, this year we're doing the same thing, but this year they are looking at participation hours. This year they are looking at, okay, why are we going to put so many uniforms into this center when this center is the one that needs them? So they are doing it like that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm always fighting. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, did you guys skip over uh, the uh, old business, the, the lease for demo site? What demo site is that? What, what, what demo site are you guys talking about the needs for a demo site? Uh, no, we didn't skip that. We talked just the survey. So what demo site is that? Oh, right now. It's not a demolition though. There's funds um, in Rockland Parks, a hundred thousand dollars there to refurbish it. What do they call demo? Uh, and the as far NC, as I know, it's on the demo list. So. And the NC wrote a letter in support of seeing it refurbished. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. Well, I, I have a copy of it, um, so I don't, I don't see why it would be up for demolition when there's money there. And the NC has a letter of support to see it refurbished so it can, it can be used again for the community. As far as I know, sir. Uh, it's on the demo list, so I mean, anything outside of that, it's like, uh, I, 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 I wouldn't be able to I don't know who told you that it's on the demo list, but we asked Brickley Parks personnel, and they have no idea what, what demo list. Uh, there is no demo list here, as far as they're concerned. Go ahead. I would give you the minutes to come and um, come and uh, talk about the minutes, and I don't see an announcement of. Of, um, it being a demo, was there an announcement made during the last two meetings? I think that's we've talked about it since we're meeting on. I mean, if you want any of the documents, you can go ahead and request them to the, no, the asking, board of the commission. I'm just asking if we're here um, to announce that it was being a demo. That's what I'm asking for. Who oh. announced it? Uh -huh. I mean, they just told us, they asked us if we wanted to, um, I guess, what we wanted to do with that, and the board all agreed that we wanted to demo it. The board, is that what you want to do? Our first meeting, second meeting? No, we were here though, so first to be. I remember which meeting it was, but we had two representatives from Vietnam on this, and I don't know that it was. I wish I had the first time. I think it was maybe two meetings ago. No, it was first time. I don't know who's out. We wanted to move forward with this. I Just so you know, really, the community that I've talked to, members on my Facebook page and, and um, around just the community, they, they want to see it refurbished, not destroyed. So I, I think it's, it's, and the NC again has better support. You get to represent the whole community. Well, Same, they want to um, see it refurbished. You know, I, I don't know about the, about the about which people you've talked to, but we were giving people signatures right here at the park. I gave signatures to about two, I got myself about 200 signatures, I want to say, of people um, so that we could do the fence, so we could get them to do the fence. And when I was giving the people for to sign, I also talked to them about, you know, what do you think about get, getting this place um, de demo and bring um, other stuff. And all the parents said, yes, we will love it. None of the parents said no. And if these are the parents that are coming
coming to the park that are using the park, just like the skaters, you know, they want to see something better because they are the ones that use it. And if the parents that are using the park want to see something better, I think we also need to listen to well, them. Well, these these have a, there's no survey from last year. It, it said the opposite. It said that they wanted it to be refurbished. Sometimes the, the, the questioning is, is very important. Um, we should ask if, I'm just wondering, I haven't seen the survey, but was it ever asked, would you like the building to be fixed? To have well, the, the thing is that they told us in order uh, to get it fixed, to get it uh, refurbished, it's going to be another 10 years and still no hope. Mm -hmm. Because there's no money to refurbish it. But just but say if it's so if we're going to wait another 10 years, all our kids are going to be out of here. Our kids are not going to need it anymore. And and somebody else is going to come and do, be in the, in the, in the path. And it's going to be the same thing but, over There's no over. money. How are they going to turn down the road? There's no money to do nothing in either. It doesn't make sense. Well, let's say the difference between both, the difference between refurbish it and getting new, uh, get, knock it down and bring, uh, and put uh, uh, just a small fitness center, it's like uh big difference between the two. Do you know what it was do you know what it is to build a new one? If you knock it down and build a new one, so we have uh, we have minutes for um I guess it was in February, no, March. Yeah. Oh I'm sorry. February thirteenth. February thirteenth. It was discussed, basically it was brought to the board and they were asking, you know, the options were like, um, you know, demolish it um, and put something temporary in there while while money becomes available to build something else, or you know, the possibility of refurbishing it. Just the money is it's just uh, it's going to stay there. It's going to be an eyesore, and I think we were all. Like, oh, I'm but there's funds. Th th there's funds there. But obviously there isn't, or we would have. Money. Well, I mean, two hundred thousand dollars was given. I, obviously, I sent you the letter that the record parks did in two thousand five that paid the money. Uh, the only put thing it aside. I can address is what was it? Did you get it? Did you get the e-news letter from CD fourteen? I got it from Richard Parks actually. Okay, because CD fourteen just recently released a newsletter saying that they have two hundred thousand. That's right. That's true. But I think he just recently obtained that funding. So <laughs> no, no, that's that's the uh, letter that the money that was okay, given to them. You know, you know, um, I think it would be a good idea so that no one, so that we're completely transparent and no one thinks that, you know, we're, we're trying to go under the radar or whatever. Maybe on the 17th, we, we need to have a meeting with the board and see if we can get the money to do that. Yeah, but the money that was given to them was for the construction of the park. Yeah, but that's the only thing that I can address is what was given to them. Okay, well, I think that's what we need to do. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Yeah, that's the same, but if the people actually go out there and and voice, uh, obviously voice their voice through this paper, you know, and obviously it's but not. The reality it's, is, I don't even know if that's something that they're considering. You know, I don't even know if they have money to refurbish that or even want to. Well, one of the other biggest concerns on that that we discussed was the breaking in it. So even if it does get refurbished, yeah. who's going to take care of it? You know, so one of the biggest problems and concerns was the break in. You know, at nighttime, bombs staying there, um, juveniles having, you know, sexual content in there. You mean when it's refurbished already? Or right now? No, well, right now. Right now. Uh, even now, leaving it the yeah, way it is. Yeah, the way it is. I didn't even know if it gets well, the service. You see, that's the thing. It's been neglected for many years. It's been like that for many years. It's time, you know, the community, actually, that community does need a, uh, a, that building there for classes, you know, Sunda classes and all these other classes. It would be great to have them there. You know, Art and, at the school. You know, we're, and we're not saying, um, you know, the, it would be great if you could fix it up. It, it deteriorated because it was neglected. You know, as, us as community members, we have to speak up and we question it for it to be, built, to be fixed. And now it's deteriorating, and yes, now it's being more costly. But I think if we really, if that's what the community wants to get it fixed, I think the money, you know, we'll find funds one way or another, writing grants, you know. But I think. Um, I like the idea that Felix has of you know, having a survey and giving that option because in, uh, a lot of times the results you get is based on how you ask the question. If you're asking them, do you want to not have to build something better? Oh, yeah, that sounds good. But if you give them the option, would you like this building fixed up 
so that we could have classes in there where we're not going to sound good too. And no. she is absolutely right in, in the aspect that it all depends on how you ask the questions in the survey. Because in the survey, that and the reality of it. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and because when we did the survey, yes, and now that's here, basically, it's going to be basically, 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 well, what happens? Well. What happens is that if we tell them that if it's gonna, if it could be refurbished, do we have the money? Because no we don't have the money, no and it's gonna be another temporary. ten years, and it's gonna be uh, because, because the city be says current. they don't have money to refurbish it. It's expensive. They said it here at the you meeting. Know, before we decide that we don't have the money to refurbish it, I would like to know what it would cost. Can, you know, can we get an answer from Metro Parks? What would it cost? Uh, to fix it or to knock it down? I, I would request it maybe from the council office. You know, because then, then we know is it a reality or not. Otherwise, we're just talking and wasting our time because we don't even know if it's doable or not. So, mm -hmm. I would like, you know, if you could please get a, get a, if you could request, you know, what would it cost to knock it I down? I wouldn't. You as a private citizen can do it. So, if you want to ask the board of commission, if you want to write a letter to you. Well, I'm asking the PAP, if the PAP is here for its community input and you are here to represent us and our voice, I'm, I would like for PAP to please invite some information. I think you have more way as a, as a board than me as an individual. I think we did ask Julio and Lane uh, mm -hmm. that we could get those costs, and, and they, they said, them. yeah, that it has to come from the community. So it has to be an outside person. But you guys are the community. That doesn't make sense. We're part of the board. Yeah, because we're the board. They're an extension of El Sereno. Yeah. Yeah, because it was the last two months ago, two meetings ago, we had asked because we were we were going for the And they're not here today because we don't ask them. Yeah. This survey here doesn't talk about any demolition. All this survey does is ask, what would you like to see? I know I have time, well, but I won't. But then, in that case, then, then so we can add something to it like It's this meeting then that says survey needs for demo site. As a, on the agenda, that's what it says. But you see a survey that's not even for the demo site at all. So it's kind of misleading what it says here and what actually is. Well, this survey was passed out for the opening day. It was it's not intended for the demo. Mm -hmm. What worked for, for that survey was what we wanted to discuss to see how we were going to put it out for a new She's survey. Ready. So this survey was prior and, 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 and that's why I asked them to bring it up again. Yeah. They know it's good, I think. Good job. Thank you. Um, all right, let's stay on the agenda. Okay, so future agenda items. Uh, is there anything that the board wants to add to uh, the, our next agenda to be discussed? We are going to have the next meeting. We'll try to have the representative from Wizard Office here. So I would say that discussion probably would take a while. So I would probably not have, full, you know. We, we actually, I mean, there's not very much yeah, to put so. on here. It'll be announcements, public comment, and then you know, if they come, it would be an invite to have CD fourteen here. Is that something? Do you send them that email? Or, or that yeah, I can. Send and then I don't want to tell them, but this is probably what we want to discuss some of it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I would like to request that uh, for the future agenda, uh, we put the uh, skate park. Yes. The update? Yes. The, the email from the Yeah, the update on that. Yeah, I have that. Yeah, I have that. Because we have the general year of our uh, 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 skate park. And uh, um, I know that the next meeting is going to be after we take our work. Clarification on that agenda item. Do you want it a standing agenda item or just for the next meeting? Um, I, uh, standing, yeah. And, and, and also, I, 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 I know that the, um, the, the trip that we're taking is going to be after um, the, the, the next meeting is going to be after, right? No. Before. Before. It's, it's June 1st, June 12th, 
Yes, because obviously there's people concerned and you know, it's either going to get them or the service, whatever the case. So it's either a cost for that or a cost for restaurants. And also, any other any other big costs. I still want it knocked down and rebuilt. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And that's what I want to know. How much would it cost? Different prices. Well, something like that, based on um, that size, because I was also involved in the Variety Women and Girls Club, um, and they were coming there. So that facility cost $2 million to do. Tear it all the way down and bring it back up, $2 million. So it's about the same size as this. Obviously, they went with two floors over there. So that gives you a ballpark yeah. figure. Yeah, so, so, one, so one story, 1.5. One Lower. See, I guess I should say, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that to tear it down, but I hate to see it torn down and then let that site sit there vacant. For ten more years. Oh, that's that's so, so our thing is, if, it, if it's going to turn it down, they have a plan to see what's going to be put up right after that. Well, that was the, that's, that's, that's 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 the whole purpose. Right. That if it's coming down, we either want you know. That, that was our uh, concern too. Happen. We told them we don't want to bring it down and then have a vacant. But they're just like telling us we're going to tear it down, tear it down. But where are the plans for up, after that? So you're, oh, you're not hearing well, that. that. That's what, what, what I say. Yeah. And then we they want to know what are uh, what is it that people will want to see there. That, that was you know, yeah. That's pretty much where we're at. And it, and it really they were they, they were talking about is putting things in there temporary for when you know the funds did become available for an additional. So would they be helping us with um, applying for pop K money? Because that, that would cover that. That's a lot of money there, Pop. It's $20 million a year. $20 million. Because that's how the other places are getting, are getting built. Yeah, I don't so, know. So multi-million, um, you know, community building, that's how they're being built with Pop K money. Skate parks too, Pop K money. Find somebody that knows about it. Well, it's a customer's office that helps us. Like, they yeah. initiate. Yeah, they well, said like, that. I'm sure they that, 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 that's, that's what they're going to get. That, they're going to end up getting the money from there. For sure, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but they yeah. want to need a direction. For yeah, but we need we need um, we need to tell them what we want, and we want to get it for, the, for the people. Yeah, you know what, tell me, um, early on you were talking about you know people breaking into that, but um, it, it reminded me of maintenance too. I know we have to think about maintenance. Just so you know, um, USC housing development um, is being you know it's, it's being constructed, so they're getting they have to pay twin fees, and and those those twin fees are for maintenance. And they go out to a radius of two miles. And because we're a community park, we're eligible for those funds. So that's something um, I think the board should know. That way uh, we could advocate for our park, tell the council and office that we want could be fees from the USC housing development to come to our park. A huge development, a huge housing development. I don't know yet how, how much money, but it's a lot of money. And so I would say to advocate for this park because. Um, and, and this is from this USC project right here. The housing. Yes. Uh, how, many, how many parks are actually within two miles from there? Yeah, that, I mean, but, 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 but what you need to keep in mind though is that USC already gave a lot of money to Hazard Park. A million dollars. Lincoln Park just received a lot of money to, um, well, where did they get Prop that? A money. Prop A money. So, you know. Their needs are already met, out, in other words. You know, so USC students who would be using Hazard Park and Lincoln Park, I mean, there's money already that went into those parks. So I'm trying to, you know, advocate more friends that I know, get some money last that hills, get some money here. It's for maintenance, so why not ask for it? Mm -hmm. So those are the best people to ask? It's Councilman's office. Councilman's office. So, I mean, I'm... That's something that we could probably do. You know. That's the problem with big... I would have confidence in this movie. Mm -hmm. You really can't get anything done with this park or any park unless you actually get the help. You need to go ask. Exactly. And if you don't know that it's there, how are you going to ask? So I just want you to know and advocate for it. Be aware. Alright, so anything else that needs to be added to the agenda items? Absolutely. Uh, but I did include the Council District 14 to discuss uh, the community's concerns uh, to have the State Guard report as a standing item, agenda item, mm -hmm. uh, follow up on the field trip, slash work on the priorities, um, 4th of July parade, 
and the announcements regarding the uh, Molina's office with the funding for the restrooms and the suggestions for the USC housing development. Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Eight oh nine. Gee, we're going better. <laughs> 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 yeah, we could put sixty minutes on that.